Many Nigerians on the social media platform ESC have tackled President Bola Tinubu and his government for proposing 48,000 Naira as a new national minimum wage. Sahara reporters reported how the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC, rejected the new proposed minimum wage on Wednesday. The Trip Party Committee on New National Minimum Wage resumed negotiations yesterday, Wednesday. The Labour leader said the meeting reached an unfortunate in passes as a result of the apparent seriousness of the government to engage in reasonable negotiation with Nigerian workers. The organized labor said it decided to walk out of the negotiating process after the government offered to pay 48,000 naira as a new national minimum wage without providing any substantial date to support the offer. The organized labor had demanded 615,000 naira as a new minimum wage, noting that the demand could go higher if the inflation rate continued to rise. The developments have continued to affect outreach from all sections of the country as a masses Note that, know that the government is not emphatic towards the economic realities in the country in deciding the new minimum wage. An ex-user, Hadema, said, any minimum wage less than 150,000 naira is enslavement, he wrote. This tomato today in worry goes for 7,000 naira. The pepper is also 7,000. The other red pepper is 6,000, and each tuba of yam there goes for 3,000 naira each. A kilo of meat, beef, is 7,500, and a kilo of chicken is 7,000. The ordinary worker, public or private, will take a commercial vehicle or he or oh, he or she has a vehicle, we buy for it. They will save something for their children's school fees. A portion of rent, other food stuff, even a bag of Gary today, I learned a 65,000 naira. Dear Nigerian president, let the poor breathe. If not for the selfishness of our leaders, this issue is as simple as ABC. Let's calculate it based on the dollar exchange rates and see. When the minimum wage was approved, the exchange rate was around 300 naira, and now it is around 1,600. So 30,000 naira or 300,000 naira, 100,000 uh, dollar, and uh, 100 uh, dollar to 1,600 equals to 160,000 naira. Another user, Dan Ariwa wrote. Another person said, the people proposing a 48,000 naira minimum wage are the same people sharing millions, billions of taxpayers' money among themselves. It tells you the kind of leaders we have in the country. The federal government wants the minimum wage to be 48,000 while a senator is earning 23 million naira and the rep is earning about half of that every month, which is 500 times the minimum wage, which one senator's salary and allowances, the salary for 500 civil servants earning, minimum wage can be paid. My brother, if you have the good chance, George Jakba from this country, don't play with your future. Any minimum wage below 150,000 naira should be regarded as a joke. They keep preaching the gospel of no money, yet they are not even pretending to reduce the course of governance. Also, we keep seeing corruption cases in billions almost every day. It is even laughable to suggest 48,000 naira as minimum wage. In today's Nigeria, 48,000 naira cannot buy you one bag of rice. 
pay school fees, do full tank, pay monthly electricity tariff for brand band A, Nigerian workers should not settle for anything less than 150,000 as minimum wage. 100 US dollar is 1,500, another user said. Hmm. This is terrible, like I always say, and I'm saying it again. These people do not want to understand. They don't want to come to reality. And they are very selfish people. They don't care about how Nigerians are coping. They will tell you there is no money. But they have all the money to loot. They will tell us this person loot 80 billion naira, this and this and that. Today, Senator is saying, eh, even if they are going to enact any penalty of debt for corrupt uh, politicians, it should be from one million to from from one million to billion. You understand? You say anybody that steal from one million to billion naira, that person is exempted. But when a politician steals trillion of naira, public money, the person should go through that slow. You understand? You just understand what he's trying to say. So that means he's systematically pushing out. Politicians, they can see billions of naira. They cannot face the wrath of the law because they are exempted. Nigeria is too. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you're just joining us, subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.